Greetings to all you blood-sucking, soul-snatching creatures of the dark side. The vampires have landed on the legendary stage of the Helsinki House of Culture. And rumors are that Elvis, Hendrix, and Morrison have arrived to witness the 30th anniversary bloodfest of the 69 Eyes. Now you have to flood the mortal social media with the hashtag Sunborn Live so that we can fill this land with horror. Now without further shenanigans, the monsters under your bed, the shadow that follows you into the night, the Helsinki City Vampires!
This is called 27 and done.
It's a pleasure and honor to play here at the legendary Kultur Tal House of Culture. I saw the Ramones here in the early 90s and uh, for us here in Helsinki this represents one of the most legendary venues and uh, we are very happy to have a chance to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Helsinki Vampires here. But yeah, we're just halfway through, so uh, I don't know what you guys are doing or wherever you are. But I would say, come out, come out, wherever you are, all you vampires. Because now it's the time that the Helsinki vampires are giving you fighting blood.
This one's called Wasting the Dawn.
Would you run away? All right, everybody, all you vampires out there, I have one last question for you. And you know what it is. You want to rock! Yes, yes, my, my mic, mic is it on. Hello. 
Wow, that was it. The vampires haven't left. They're gonna be coming back in a while. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was uh this 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 place is on fire right now. It was a great show. Thank you guys all for uh, commenting on the chat section. That was really really good. Now. Uh, the vampires are going to take a couple of minutes to refresh themselves and for all you guys who have vampire tickets it's time for a meet and greet and so go up and put your questions right on the chat you guys have the chat over there so put your questions there so I can I can grab them and I can ask the guys all your questions and if you're thinking about re-watching this entire episode if you didn't have enough time to watch it uh, you can watch this all the way until Tuesday you can watch it all the way until Tuesday, uh, and that's when it's going to be... Tuesday is the last day you can watch this. And if your friends want to watch it as well, they can buy tickets as well. Uh, so it's going to be available until Tuesday. Anyways, a couple of minutes before the meet and greet starts, so think about your questions, put it in your chat, and I will get them. And thank you all for watching. Remember, hashtag SunbornLive, and you'll be featured on our social media feed. See you soon.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Helsinki Vampires! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! So, what's up, Polly? I'm good! How are you guys doing? We're doing great! We're the Beach Boys from Helsinki. It's our best, best weather. <laughs> It's good weather, and everybody. Oh, weather, man. Everybody's wondering about your jacket. People are saying here, "Is are you going to be dehydrated? Are you going to be okay?" But I told them, vampires don't get dehydrated. Yeah, and also like um, one of my biggest idols, David Johansen from New York Dolls, said and stated, which which I believe still to this age and in 2020 that rockers don't wear to weather. That's you. You heard. You guys heard it here. So, so don't that's be on the that only chat. way to do it. Thanks and God bless, <laughs> Mr. David Johansson. Yes. So how do you, how do you guys feel? How was it uh, performing here? How, did you guys feel okay? It was great. It it felt, felt like any other show. But uh, as you know, we haven't done any shows in four months, so it's been. I was having so much fun. Like like, this is our world tour 2020. Like we have so many people from, like 30 different countries. So we're pretty excited. And it was. Um, we actually haven't met until uh, this week during this uh, strange times we are living and basically I think we were could be I could be wrong but we might have been the last rock and roll band to play before this COVID-19 thing uh, we played uh, March 18th in Samara in Russia we were still on the stage and then we took the last plane home and then the whole world closed down. So, you know, it's been, and we haven't met since this week. But, uh, yeah, I think, I hope we are going and sailing towards better times. We only see each other on stage. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so was it weird after like all this time to get together again and, 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 you know, and practice for a show, which is not something that you guys regularly do like with with like an empty uh, house of culture was it, it wasn't was it weird we've been around for 30 years yeah. so uh, we know our game <laughs> yeah of course you guys you know your game but did you guys do it was fantastic game? and you know this is one of the most legendary venues here in helsinki so this is the the only right way to celebrate our 30th anniversary the yeah, tour goes right. on and uh, this was just one of the show during the tour but uh it's amazing to play, play here. Yeah. Honestly, I love this place. Yeah, this is a this is a very very lovely place. And uh, and one of the questions actually that the, that people wanted to ask you guys was uh, regarding your 30th anniversary. And one of our one of the viewers wanted to know what is your secret for staying long to for for staying this long together. What what is your secret? Maybe we are stupid enough that we don't know how to <laughs> stop this thing. I don't believe in that. You guys must have a secret. We believe in rock and roll. Yeah. Well, of course you guys believe in rock and roll, but, but you know, I mean, you guys have been around for a long time. You guys have seen a lot of things. Is there something that you guys can tell? I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of inspiring people right now is inspired by you. They want to know the story. They want to know how you guys went through, like, even the rough patches. Any, any... Yeah, we, we were never trendy. We're, yeah. we're still, you know, like you were laughing how we dress up now I'm here at the 30th <laughs> anniversary show yeah. while you're wearing shorts here. Exactly, but, but I'm So, wearing... <laughs> you know, we're never trendy, we're never going to be trendy. We just do what we dig. Yeah, well, that's wonderful. That's really, really, I think that's that's the that's the key to any authenticity is just, just to be you. You know, you can't be trendy if you're, if you're you. Uh, so, there's a couple of questions I want to raise. These these came before uh, this meet and greet. I just, I promised people to, to, um, to ask them. So, uh, you'll see. Uh, somebody wants to know, are you going to play in Germany with the local band? Uh, you never know what's going to happen with the local band. We, there's five weird <laughs> schedules to work around with. Hopefully. I really hope so. All right. That's good. And another one was just like, so 30 years is gone, but are you guys going to have a 69 Eyes book coming out? <clears throat> it's a book? What? A book? Yeah. Uh, it's in works. <laughs> okay. But don't tell anyone. We won't tell we anyone. We haven't announced it yet, but it soon works. <laughs> Maybe right. there was a guy who was writing it or, or something asking. No. Hey, can I, can I pick, pick up one question? Of course, of there course. There was a cool question for Timo, like um, about his new guitar. Explain. <clears throat> yeah, this was the first time when I used my new guitars, ESP, it was. And uh, another one is uh, Chapman. And they're working good. 
I'm, I'm really happy. Happy and good guitars. <laughs> That's very good. That's Timo Timo. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually, there was a question for Timo Timo. That was cool. Yeah. Uh, one, one person did you know, th this was a weird question, Timo Timo, but I had to ask you this because somebody asked, did you get the package last time in Tuli Suudelma? I have no idea. I, it was so random. I just I decided I have to ask you because we all are dying to know the answer. Did you get the? You package? know the saying: "What happens in Tuli Suudelma <laughs> stays in Tuli Suudelma forever." That is a new Tuli Suudelma is a Finnish version of Las Vegas. Yeah. Just yeah. in case somebody didn't know. Yeah, exactly. Tuli Suudelma is the Finnish Las Vegas. So whatever happens there. But Timo, tell. Yeah. Would you like to tell? What Did was you get the package? package? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Was it the okay. guitar? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's Anyways, right. there's a lot of questions, people are questioning, uh, and, and you guys can go to the, the livakatsomo.fi and then you, there's a chat, and then just, just write your questions there, we can see them here, and the band, and uh, we'll, we'll answer any of your questions. Uh, just, just whatever you guys want to know. Yeah. Do you guys want to? I have a one question, which, yeah. which is like, I, I want to ask. Yeah. What bands you have been seeing here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Slayer, of course, and... Uh... That's, that's the band what is what was the loudest ever. You know, it was so cool that they so loud. The Slayer is the it, it, it's in my memory here, yes. Really? Yes, yes. When? Did you say Slade or Slayer? Slayer. <laughs> Slayer. Everybody's been playing here like Archie, that. Archie, how about uh, Ramones? Okay. They were really loud too. Wasn't the Hannah Rocks last show in here, right? Yeah, you were there. Yeah, I was here on the front row very much in the front row. I was 12 years old. Watching Hanoi Rocks. Oh. Yeah, I saw Metallica here in 84. It was like 300 people, so I was one of them. But okay, uh, so here's a question. Uh, somebody wants to know how many me members of the band are vegan and how did you become vegan? Only one and I've been six years and uh, because I want to stay forever young. Well, well that's... So and and, and I, I didn't like so much human blood. Yeah. So I'm 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 drinking only vegan blood. So that's like kind of more ethical. Well, I have to admit something. I was uh, vegan. I started being vegan during the COVID, and I lost my beard. So I got younger about like great. 30. Yeah, yeah. And you, I lost you and me have too. a lot of things yeah. to discuss about after yeah. this. Yeah, for veganism. But you know, I never thought that I'd become this. But it's a it's a good choice. I don't. It's I don't, interesting. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, a lot of people are from around the world are watching. We got St. Petersburg, we got Los Angeles, New, New York, New Jersey, uh, Finland, uh, like Tohmajärvi. Tohmajärvi was mentioned as well. That was kind of weird because it was like New York and then it was Tohmajärvi. That was really, really, I was just like, that is so nice. I think that's the magic of these kind of gigs where you get a lot of people from around the world to, you know, share an experience that nobody else can actually share. So that's, that's no, no, none of those places are particularly special for the 69 eyes because yeah. we love every place where we go because we have the best fans the best vampires all around the world and that's why we've been doing this so long and keep on doing after this and uh, hopefully the times are getting better so um, we can continue our world tour meanwhile I know that in the end of uh, summer we start to already to play here in Finland so okay. hopefully out, out abroad soon Somebody is asking about the 69 tattoos. What, what do you, we, what it means to us when we see 69 tattoos? Actually, we've seen a lot of them lately, and it uh, amazes me every time I see one of those. And you know, people sometimes want to have my signature and carve in their skin, and it's like, don't do that, don't do that. I don't know. It's mixed feeling for me. But I like it, of course. It's like a, I'm honored. <laughs> I think one question that a lot of people were asking is, just like, how did you guys spend time during the COVID? What did you guys do? What was the special thing? What did you guys find something new? I'm lucky enough that I I could work with the radio rock station, so yeah. I've been busy with that. But any like Netflix shows or whatever, like oh, yeah, loads. What did you? What was the? What was the best ones? Last one is uh, White Lines. And uh, I'm pretty late with this, but I just started the Money Heist, which Money is heist. The, yeah. probably the most watched Netflix show. Other guys? I read a lot of books. Okay. Yeah, it's good. I I been collecting like quite a huge book uh, book collection through the years, so you know they've been just waiting for this moment there. 
Can you can you say just one name, one 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 book which was really inspiring this time? Um, not publicly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> those kind of well I mean a lot of you will let's say that that can be heard in the next six and a half album what I be reading wonderful yeah yes uh, I think I'll make a new music because now we have a time to um, I have a time to do it so uh, I make new songs and you know it's so good, cool to do it now yeah we have a time to do it but I miss these guys you know we play this show now and it was so <laughs> great you know oh. yes, great. yeah and I tried to <clears throat> to do our new songs to our next album and and I hope we have a time to go to use bar together someday <laughs> yeah definitely I mean uh, I, I I watched Tiger King I don't know if you guys watched Tiger King I go I watched Tiger King and too got, fucking weird yeah, sorry it was so weird I was just like I can't do this I need to I need to read books so <laughs> I went to read books as well and uh, to be honest it was a it was it was good. Did you guys lose weight? Did you guys gain weight? Well, you well you were different. But uh, all the other guys, did you did you guys lose weight, gain weight? Did you eat differently? Anything happened weird? No, I I tried oh. to I tried to uh, be active with with fans. Yeah. Like in the internet and um, I just I I just had more time to focus and and like these guys also revealed we we be writing new music so yeah I think it's just, just like, like you know time yeah. to unwind you know just yeah. do something else what you haven't had time to do when you're touring so what we really uh, what what happened for us like I said we were probably one of the last rock and roll bands on the stage um, before you know it was locked down all over the world we were supposed to do. Uh, Latin American tour uh, in um, in May and now it's postponed and also a lot of our festival shows uh, fr from Europe have been postponed so uh, those who are wondering and, and we were waiting still you know like until the la very last days that shall we show up in, in, in Latin America we, we are definitely coming and we've been there we haven't been there for ages so we're definitely, I think it's for for this COVID-19 just means like somebody pressed huge pause button, you know, down, just pause. And then at some point the pause comes up and the music continues and, and you know, it means like we press play again and the 16 on ice will be out there for uh, rocking with everybody. And this was our way to Thank you for people for sticking us coming to our shows over the last year, and also thank you for those fans still waiting for to see us, uh, and we're coming over uh, as soon as possible. Yeah, we hope that as well. Yeah, we hope that this this thing goes so that we can all start doing. <laughs> we can all sure. start enjoying sure. life again, because this is. Uh, I have to be. I have to admit, I'm in a very privileged position. Because I'm pretty much the only person who, who can watch this live. And I'm just like, I get to see you guys alone here. Of course, there's the other team, but like the whole team, that, but they're behind cameras. And they have I to think work you're going to get a lot of girls if you yeah, go to the I, I think I'm pretty that. sure, you know, actually, I'm not on Tinder, but if I was on Tinder, I would have put everyone just like, I'm right now watching 69 Eyes. If you guys want to <laughs> match. You can't use this Tinder. four days later because you can watch this show four days later after this live. So. You yeah. can still you have four days to go to bars. That's true. That's yeah. true. I can I can I can ride this. I can ride this wave. I will ride this wave. Um, there's a couple of other questions that pe people wanted to know. Uh, one was just like um, this is actually for for you, Yurki. It says uh, that uh, you've said somewhere that you get inspired by by watching movies. What is a movie that you that has inspired you lately? And is it going to be? Are you, is it going to show on the maybe on the music in the future? I've been actually um, like the person who asks probably know that I'm a horror freak. Yeah. So I've been actually discovering recently a series of movies that I have never watched before. So I've been watching like uh, Phantasm. It's it's very weird, surreal horror uh, movie series from the 80s. So actually last night I was chilling at home uh, and you know like concentrating on this show and watching Phantasm number two very weird stuff but that, but i would highly recommend that to everybody 
Well, a lot of people want you guys to go, go back to their countries and, and you know, they, like they, they're saying come back to the U.S., come back to, uh, come back to all these countries. that They want to see you guys perform. Uh, a lot of those questions are coming. When are you guys going to come back? But I think those are, are going to be settled like sooner or later, right? As, as we all know what, what's happening. Yeah, we go, as we said, we're going to Latin America, what was postponed yeah. next year, and then we're going to do a European tour. Yeah. Also. Awesome. So that's Next that's gonna early, that's gonna settle. So you guys you guys can rest assured that they will come back. Just give it time. We have to fight COVID first. Um, there's a there's a, if you guys have any questions, you know where to go. The chat box right next to the video, and just write your questions. We can see them here, and then we can answer them as we go forward. Uh, one of the questions that really popped in uh, popped up was uh, was was this. Uh, Basically, somebody wants to know what's your favorite candy. Candy? Yeah. Licorice. Licorice? Yeah. Yeah. Well... Easy question. <laughs> Easy answer. Yeah, that was something that... Uh, that was, I think that question came up like five and chocolate times. Chocolate is good, but you know, yeah. licorice. Yeah. That question like, came up five okay, times. Okay, cool. Five yeah, times. Great fans will bring, bring you know, yeah. like presents for us and, uh, and it's a very warm warming thing to get. So, you know, yeah. we know what he's going to get next time. Yeah. Can we talk about your new music now? Uh, upcoming music, or yeah. I, I sort of think that uh, our, you know our last album, which was, well, think of that. Our last album was called West End, mm. and it came like less than a year ago. So that's sort of new music. And then we have this happy song "27 and Done," and it's amazing to sing around the world, especially in the summertime when everybody is smiling and singing "Let's All Die Young." Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. And then now we, um, like, as, as sort of like, it's sort of worse than times, really, what we are living. So we released last week to celebrate this show, actually. And just to, just for celebrate that we've been touring around, we uh, released a new uh, music video, lyric video, for the song Change, which we most likely start to play in our sets. And uh, it was... Everybody, ha I hope that they have already checked out the video. It's about like um, we're celebrating our tour life. We play a show in the, in the states, and then it, they filmed like like a month after the show, empty streets of Los Angeles, and then the current streets of Los Angeles where people are demonstrating. So it's kind of uh, and the lyrics of uh, that song fit as well. So I sort of think that our new record is still new music mm. i mean obviously we are hungry to write and create all the time like we've done all these 30 years but i'm 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 excited about this uh prediction called west end yeah sounds very good yeah <laughs> uh one question that comes uh, came uh, actually a couple of times now is uh your uh, collaboration with uh, d Krups. uh yeah. Yeah. So uh, people want to know how that idea came. came well, forward the thing is, like, uh, we're actually. This is also something we haven't announced yet, but uh, uh, we are actually planning to go on on the road with the D groups uh, in uh, in uh, Europe, and uh, it was just a cool thing to. I'm 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 featuring on their latest single called Chinese Black, and. Uh, it's old classic goth song, and we we did it together. So I, I feature there, and we did a video for it. And uh, hopefully, um, like um, next year, we're gonna tour with D. Krups, classic band. Very cool. Yeah, very nice. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I was listening. Uh, so um, yeah, uh, another question again. Uh, there are people here who are asking uh, for for your. Uh, for your appro approval to walk down the aisle to your music. Oh, sure, that's a yeah. You know, so that's and, a, and there's uh, there's Charlotte who's asking, can I walk down the aisle to Star of Fate? Yeah, that's a cool song for you. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, sure. sure. And uh, I, I, have, I I have to remind Matti, my good friend. He he told me through Instagram just a few hours ago that he's about to propose his girlfriend during this live stream. So Mattia really hopes she said yes. Wow! And it's, it's, that, that's actually great. Like we, we have succeeded in creating music, not only to you know get drunk and party, but also walk on the aisle 
That's beautiful. Thank you so much for this information. Yes, that was very. Find nice. around. I'll I'll show up to sing it for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's Just even flying better. over and um, five star hotel and you know all that. Ah, okay. It With was decent money, you get Timo Timo as best man. <laughs> <laughs> and I can come too. I come for free. <laughs> you get me as a as a bonus. And Archie comes as a wedding crasher. Classic. Oh yes, yes. Party dude. <laughs> We can walk there together. Actually, we're all gonna come, so just send the invitation and we'll show up. Uh, there's a, uh, people want to know: uh, Has it been useful uh, that you have this chemistry, like during this time? Has it been useful that you have this uh, chemistry degree from from the university? Like, yeah, that, it, that's that's something that what, what's always been asked, like. Yeah. Uh, um, but especially during this time, like during the COVID time, has it oh, been useful? Really? Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, Do you feel? Well, that? I mean. The, you know, I didn't want you come closer, so yeah, yeah, I, I have like a yeah. scientific background, so I, I take this very seriously, and uh, and I I go according to the regulations and uh, all that. So that comes with my scientific background. But with the sixty nine eyes, I I try to forget the forget you know the mat, you know, mainly the real world. I just want to be this. Uh, fantasy guy who plays rock and roll forever so some but you know if somebody asks like now I I, I, that, I can talk about serious things too but I, I prefer about talking about movies and uh, comics and endless party nights on the Sunset Strip wonderful so I think our time is about to run up uh, any last requests for the fans we miss you guys as much you do miss us. We miss playing live. Hope to see you guys healthy. Hope to see you guys safe. Hope to see you guys soon, very soon. Yeah, we miss you all. Hope we see you again soon. See you guys soon. Yeah, we're gonna see you in Europe and elsewhere next year. This year, some shows in Finland. So everybody from Finland, see you in August. Some festivals and stuff. And it's almost the end of October. Hope to see you. You know what? We love you. We love you all. Thank you, vampires. See you soon, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you, guys. Yay! There they are. And thank you guys watching at home. Uh, this was a very, very pleasant experience for, for all of us. This, is, uh, this was a really, really nice show. I mean, I really enjoyed it. As I said, I was privileged uh, to share this moment not only with the band, but with you guys as well over there. Uh, remember, you can still uh, buy the stream for your friends, uh, or your friends can buy it, and it's going to be available until Tuesday. You can watch this again until Tuesday. So, so just do it. Just do it and have fun. And while you're watching it, remember hashtag Sunborn Live so we can get your uh, tweets, we can get your Instagram photos and post them on our feed. Uh, thank you guys so much. And if you're interested, tomorrow's Battle Beast right here on the same stage. <laughs>